Hi guys. Um, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry I didn't do this uh, upload last night, but uh, our internet wasn't working anyway, and it's still not really working today. So hopefully it'll get up today. If not, oh well. So this will be a full collection update, I guess. So I'll try to take out as many as I can, um, whichever ones I can. Some of them are kind of nuts with one hand. I'll do the new one last. But, um, cage is first, I guess. So I pretty much updated everything as I did it. Um, but if you guys didn't watch those, I got these to put the mealworms in. The older ones are in here, and then the, the babies that you can't even see, like from the dust I put in there. And they grew up. Um, I got all the crickets. I put the crickets. I got a bunch of crickets just in case um, the winter was really cold last year and I wasn't able to get any more crickets and pet stores couldn't get them either. So I got like 3,000 crickets <laughs> to try to get through the winter, but it's pretty nice out. It snowed and stuck yesterday, but it already melted. Um, so the tortoise went in one of the new cages. She was temporarily in a 10 gallon for before, until I got these. So I don't want to bash, you know, the guy who makes them or anything. But both times that I ordered them, he, I, you know, it was a little while after I was supposed to get them. So I called the first time. It wasn't very long. I called him and he's like, oh, they'll ship out tomorrow. And I was like, okay. I didn't even think anything of it. Then this time I waited like 20 days later than they were supposed to be done and I shouldn't have waited that long but I did so I called and he's like oh yeah they'll ship out tomorrow or whatever and I was like huh he did that both times so maybe I don't know I probably wouldn't have got him if I hadn't called so <laughs> just thought I'd mention that I don't know kind of weird but and I'm gonna try to mount this light in here better obviously I just worry about drilling this. And then of course once I drill it, the holes are going to be there forever. So I'm just trying to make sure I do it careful. She really likes being in her house. That's the... Hang on. Let's see if I can see her. It's the humid... More humid area. It's pretty humid here too. It's still damp. I did... Uh, not that it matters, but I did half jungle mix and half eco earth, but once the jungle mix dries It looks exactly like the eco earth anyway, so I'm guessing it's the same thing, but one just comes Moist and the other is dry. I don't know. I don't really I hate that bedding anyway, but you guys recommended it So I was using it <laughs> The eco earth is just really messy All right, so these guys got moved and they were all really happy. They were crawling around, and they were all, they all would lay on top of their water dish and have their head, or have their head facing out of the cage somehow. Like, watching. This is the boy. I should probably have a tripod or something to <laughs> make this easier. Hey. Come on out. You always, they always wanted to come out of their tubs. But he's like, I don't want to come out of my nice cage. Kind of hard with one hand. Sorry, guys. See the size of them so you can see how big they got. And make a mess. <laughs> Boys. <laughs> yeah, say hi. That's Gatsby, if I didn't mention. So that's the male. He's the darker of the two. The female has more white.
she is Daisy. She's in the corner. Hey girl. I'm sorry guys, this is not that easy. <laughs> But yeah, you can see, just look at how pretty your pattern is. Really nice contrast. I probably mentioned before that I didn't, I don't like the ones that have the pink on them so much. I just like the black and white stuff. Get in there. <laughs> and then the male. Oh, Constrictor Imperator, the Blood Boa. It's a little smaller than the others, as far as girth. His last shed, he got a bit lighter, and he has a couple extra, like, kind of weird spots on his neck. But he still has nice red eyes. Oh. And belly. Somewhere. <laughs> You're pretty strong. Hey, go back in your cage. Go back in your cage. Pretty cool <laughs> for a boa. And I was trying to remember when I got him. I remember I said it in the boa video I did about him. Gaia is hiding. I'm not going to take out the big ones because the small ones were hard enough. <laughs> She wasn't eating for a while and then she finally ate, not, she didn't eat this week, but she ate the week before, but she's blue again, so that's probably why. But I was trying, she wasn't eating the frozen rats, so I was trying rabbits and she had nothing to do with those. But then she just ended up eating a frozen rat again. And Kratos, the male blood, he likes, he really likes rabbits, but. They don't get them too often. They're usually, because he's smaller, so they're too big for him most of the time. Because they grow so fast. But he likes them. <laughs> what are you doing? You, he's usually curious. He'll crawl right up to the door when you open it. Yeah. Were you sleeping? <laughs> I think you just woke up. Come over here. These guys never, the three big ones never strike at their food either. They'll just look at it and they'll be like, let go of it. So I just set it in there and they eat it later. She's over here. And it's really dark. Sorry, guys. Lissandra, the female cherry, cherry bomb blood. There's her face. Kind of dark, I know. But her nose is right there. Say hi. Lately, when I've been working on her, she seems more agitated than usual. Maybe she doesn't like the winter. <laughs> need to get a better step stool for these guys. <laughs> the doomerals are way up here. 
I was originally just going to stack the new cages on top of these, but then I realized that these were, um, these are just regular three foot cages. And these are, these four have dividable ends so that they can be connected. So I put them on the others that were the same way. Uh, Hades is up here. These are all about, I think I'll set the camera down this time, but they're all about the same these are the same size as the Argentines, I guess is what I was trying to say. <laughs> oh, he's not happy. What's the matter, buddy? They've got fat. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. These ones were always a little more flighty than the other. Kinds. I grab. Well, no, maybe I shouldn't. The camera. Because of how squirmy he was. Sorry about the. <laughs> Jeez. One handed cameraing doesn't really work well. Yeah, he's pretty. They're getting good size around, huh? These guys, uh, they're all really good eaters, of course. They don't, I was gonna, I don't think, they're not really changing much in color as far as getting really dark or anything. They were higher, he was higher pink, and she, the female here, is even higher pink than he was. And they still seem to be staying pretty bright. Your cage is a lot warmer than his. This is not working. Hey, okay. I'll check that. Oh, yeah. She's a squirmy one. Hang on. I can hear my dad's wheeler. <laughs> Here she is. She's definitely a bit significantly lighter than he is. On the top, he's getting pretty gray. Hers is still pink and tan. She was always, she doesn't seem the most timid of all of them, but once you pick them up, they're pretty chill. She was bigger than him, but they're about the same size now. I love those faces on the side. <laughs> Alright, these might be slightly easier. <laughs> Ball pythons. And then I think I mentioned I had a whole video about this too, about how they weren't eating and how I got them to eat again. But now all the ball pythons are, uh, have quit eating. So they probably just because it's gotten colder, they self fasted themselves. Yeah, she's getting bigger after eating again. Really nice. Come on. Mr. Pumpkin. <laughs> Poison. I haven't weighed him in a while, but she's the biggest. Sorry about the answer machine in the background. <laughs> there she is. Oh, big girl. 
not huge or anything or really nice always wants to say hi Come on, girl, let go. I only have one hand. <laughs> there. All right. Bumble. Still doing good. He's got his kind of green eyes. And still very yellow for such a big guy. I'm guessing he probably has another gene besides Bumblebee because of his belly that I'll try to show. But he's got the yellow on top, but then up on the sides and then his... Oh man, you can't really see it up his sides and his belly is yellow and then there's just a little white in the middle I mean <laughs> I don't really know much about the other like the I mean there's a morph called yellow belly and he has a yellow belly but <laughs> I don't know if that means that that's what it is or if it's just maybe bumblebees have yellow bellies I'm not sure but the, the older he gets it almost gets more yellow down up on the sides huh buddy the guy did mention he thought it had a granite gene, but I don't know what that would have to do with it. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. <laughs> and Pandora is just going to come out. When we open the door, aren't you? Hey. Say hi. She's definitely the smaller of the litter mates. Her and Poison are, oh jeez, are from the same litter, or so I was told. So I was almost wondering if he got the gender wrong, like maybe this one's a male and the other one's a female, just because such a size difference, but I'm pretty sure that this was, Pandora was the one who didn't eat as well when she was little, so that, that's probably why she's smaller. Okay. Well, hello there. Hello. <laughs> He's excited to be in the video. Alright, let's finish the snakes, except for the new one. Bart, which I'm not going to pick up because he's messy. Aren't you? What are you doing? You saying hi? <laughs> we'll go back in there. Go back in there. I don't want to get bit. Hey, 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 dude. Go back under. I want to have one hand. <laughs> Come on. Hey, he's chomping on me. What are you doing? I'm not a mouse. I'm not a mouse. Man, this looks kind of pathetic, don't Hey, 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 hey! Come on. Come on, it's a sweater. It's a sweater, not a mouse. <laughs> what are you doing? You stinker. You stinker. <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay, almost. Almost. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, bud. She'd probably do the same thing, so. Oh, you should. Pretty little girl. I'm not sure. Well, I don't know what sex is either. 
If anyone knows the morph on this, let me know. In the camera, the top kind of looks red, but it's orange and then yellow on the sides. I'm thinking, well, I was originally thinking butter, but maybe it's like a... What's the other one? I don't know. <laughs> Something. Something motley. But she's getting bigger. Not as fast as I would have thought. I thought they grew fast, but... They're staying small, which is good. Hognose. I tried this different bedding with him to see if it would be less messy. This shredded aspen, he kind of just flattened. <laughs> hey, dude. You can never not flinch. <laughs> Oh, oh, you're a nice snake. Don't be acting like a jerk. <laughs> He's probably got him to his full size. I wouldn't think he would get much bigger. Which I'm pretty sure he's a male. His tail's very long. He's doing good. I put the hide box in there. I didn't know if he would like that, but I've never seen him go anywhere near it. Uh, sand boa. She bit me once a while ago. Let's see what happens. Probably be okay. I haven't picked her up though. In a while. Oh, I grabbed too far back. Come on. I don't want to grab your tail though. Couldn't see what part your body was underneath the chips. There. Who's your fat snake? There's a chubby samboa, huh? <laughs> You're so cool. So much different than. Go bury yourself. <laughs> so cool every time they do it. She is. <laughs> Sandy snake. She keeps getting redder. But it's about the same. I'm getting a little bit bigger each time. I see a little bit of rainbow on her. Very nice. Then I gotta do the lizards. Yay! I guess you're first. I'm not gonna take you out though because I need two hands because you're nuts. <laughs> yeah, I haven't handled him a lot so he's still pretty. Likes to run a lot when he's out. Or go on my head. <laughs> Draco, of course, has gotten a lot bigger. Hey, you want to come show me your back? It's okay. Okay, you can just sit there. But, I don't know. I was looking at a leather bag and a micro scale. I don't know if there a micro scale really exists. I've never really heard of it besides that one guy mentioning it, but sometimes you can you can see the purple bars. Here he was more purple. But he's really orange too. The red light doesn't help though. <laughs> I 
can't really reach him over there, but he looks the same as bourbon, just a little smaller and with a stripe. These guys are all doing good. Hmm. I like the fat tails so much more than the leopards. I wish they would have the different morphs cheaper. <laughs> Even like the simpler, the simplest morphs are like 200 bucks, something like that. Leo, ev without fail, every time I open this and then I go get crickets, he's always right up here. And I have to keep catch him from climbing out because he'll climb right out of there. Won't you, you little sneak? He's my friendliest leopard gecko. And bourbon's my friend calmest. Probably won't pick her up because if she runs I won't be able to grab her. She likes to run. She's gotten a lot fatter though. The red lights don't really help show color. He's pretty orange. Okay, red stripe. Let go. You're okay now. I'll leave you alone. Well, yeah, of course, my old lady. Seems to be gaining more weight now, too. Before she was pretty much always staying the same, but it looks like she's getting a little bigger. I'll leave her alone. Just not bother her. And Glant. Clean your glass again, don't we? Come here. I definitely think I like these better than like leopards. I don't know if it's just because I leopards are my first reptile, but these guys are just so soft. Let's see, yeah, he starts tan and then he'll fire to a chocolate or you know, dark chocolate body. I don't know what you are. I think you're just a normal. <laughs> Neep. Be free. <laughs> and now... Oh. Snapping turtle. Everybody says he's getting bigger. It's hard for me to tell because I see him every day. But he, he's all of a sudden, since I moved him, he's just crazy food. Like, he eats so much. Or he wants to eat so much, anyway. Okay. New snake. I guess you don't need that hide box. You don't like it. Ta-da. Hopefully he won't snap at me today. But there she is. An albino ball python. That uh, my boyfriend got me for Christmas. I bought him a guitar, he bought me a snake. <laughs> And 
and she's from our local pet, not the regular pet store, you know, private pet store. That a guy owns. I love how they have this like highlight type thing on the bottom. It looks like they glow. She's been pretty good. I got her when she was in shed and then she shed not too long ago. Some one cool thing. I don't know if they're all like this, but her tail has a pretty long stripe on it. It starts way back here where my pinky is. It goes all the way to her tail. I thought that was pretty cool. And, you know, I did the contest thing that was, like, last minute. So I couldn't really think of a good way to do it. But and I only had one person who actually followed the directions and did the Facebook stuff. And they didn't guess right, but if they want the prize, they'll get it. I think they were, what were they called? Dave the Extinction... Stop the extinction cave or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> but they were pretty cool. So they're the only ones that um, tried to guess. So they'll win if they want the one shirt I found. It's kind of ridiculously small. But <laughs> um, anyway, so that's. Geez, background noise. But that's everything. It's kind of underwhelming seeing as I did all the little videos of me moving everything so it's not that much of a shock if you've seen the other videos but uh thanks for watching I'm excited for my guys finally getting their new cages that took a while but everybody is in a cage that's a good size for them now so they should be all happy and um, I'll just tell you about this one last um, project I'm going to try to do. I think I showed you guys this big snake skin from Gaia I got, which is way longer than her. It's like 9 feet and she's only not even 7 feet, so it's stretched out a lot. But I'm going to try to mount it on the wall, which you wouldn't be able to see it up there. There's not really room, but I'm going to try to take... I'll make kind of like a big board plaque and then I'll put, get plexiglass to pin it up against the board with and that'll be really cool. I'm excited about trying to figure that out, but <laughs> they don't make anything that long, so it'll be kind of weird. It'll be like in like two pieces, the thing holding it together because they don't make anything over eight feet in sheets or boards or stuff like that, but... Okay, I'm <laughs> blabbing long enough, but I gotta have time to upload it. So, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time.